The zeros of a polynomial function is like the x-intercept of its graph. Pag sinabi natin x-intercept, this is the point where the graph crosses or touches the x-axis. At kapag at ang kahit anong graph ay mag-cross or mag-touch sa x-axis, ang kanyang y-coordinate ay laging equal to zero. Kaya pag magsasolve tayo ng zeros ng polynomial function, we always let y is equal to zero. For example, itong polynomial function na y is equal to x cubed plus x squared minus 4x minus 4 will become x cubed plus x squared minus 4x minus 4 is equal to zero. From polynomial function, it became a polynomial equation. And solving for its zeros is like solving for the roots of this polynomial equation. Paano natin kukunin ang roots ng polynomial equation? So, step number one, i-identify natin ang constant term. So, anong constant term sa polynomial equation na ito? So, we have negative 4, pwede 4 na lang. And then, identify its factors. So, we have 4. Ano-ano ang factors ng 4? So, we have 1, 2, and 4. Pero, kailangan natin siyang lagyan ng plus and minus kasi nga, pwedeng ang factors ng 4 ay negative. Nung tayo elementary, ay kinoconsider lang natin yung mga positive factors pero dahil tayo sa high school na, ay consider na rin natin yung mga negative factors. So, we have plus minus 1, plus minus 2, and plus and minus 4. So, ito ang tinatawag nating possible roots of this polynomial equation. Pag sinabi natin possible roots, dito lamang tayo ku, uh, manggagaling yung roots or real roots ng polynomial equation na ito. Hindi tayo pwedeng magkaroon ng ibang sagot other than plus minus 2, plus minus 1, and plus and minus 4. So, paano natin siya uh, malalaman? So, kailangan natin i-divide ang polynomial equation na ito dito sa mga roots na ito by using synthetic division. At kapag nag-zero ang remainder, ibig sabihin, iyon yung roots. So, uh, kailangan natin ilista ang coefficients ng x cubed plus x squared minus 4x minus 4. So, we have 1, 1, negative 4, negative 4. Ang una nating itatry, syempre, yung 1 at saka negative 1. So, let's try first 1. So, meron tayong 1. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 plus 1 ay 2. 2 times 1 ay 2, negative 4 plus 2 ay negative 2, negative 2 times 1 ay negative 2, negative 4 plus negative 2 is equal to negative 6. Since hindi nag-zero ang remainder, which is negative 6, ibig sabihin, 1 is not a root. Okay? Next, itry naman natin ang negative 1. So, we have 1, 1, negative 4, negative 4. So, we have 1. 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. 1 plus negative 1 is equal to 0. 0 times negative 1 is 0. Negative 4, bring down na natin. And then, negative 4 times negative 1 is equal to positive 4. And negative 4 plus 4 is equal to 0. Since nag-0 ang ating remainder, therefore, negative 1 is a root of the polynomial equation. So, meron na tayong isa. Ngayon, uh, kunin natin yung quotient natin dito. So, ang quotient natin dito ay x square plus 0x. So, tatanggalin na natin siya. Minus 4 na lamang at i-equate natin sa 0. So, itong quadratic equation na ito ay factorable naman by using sum and difference of two squares. So, x square minus 4 is equal to 0. So, we have x plus 2 times x minus 2 is equal to 0. And then, equate both sides to 0. Equate the two factors to 0. So, x minus 2 is equal to 0. So, x is equal to negative 2 and x is equal to positive 2. So, ibig sabihin, ang roots ng ating polynomial equation ay negative 1, negative 2, at saka positive 2. Or, we also call this as the zeros of this polynomial function. Ngayon, paano natin isusurlat ang polynomial function na ito into its factored form? So, we just Use y is equal to, yung negative 1, we use the zeros of the function. So, yung negative 1, gagawin lang natin x plus 1. Yung negative 2, gagawin natin x plus 2. At yung 2, ay gagawin natin x minus 2. So, this is the factored form of the polynomial, uh, polynomial function. And negative 1, negative 2, and 2 are the zeros of the given function. For the second example, let's find the zeros of the function f of x is equal to x to the fourth minus 2x cubed minus 5x squared plus 6x. 
So, nai-equate ko na agad siya sa zero. That is uh, already the first step. So, after that, identify the constant term. Since the given polynomial equation has no constant term, kailangan nating i-factor out yung variable na may pinakamababang exponent, which is x. Okay, ilalabas natin siya. x times the quantity. Mag-minus lang tayo ng isa sa bawat exponent ng variable. Kasi nga, meron tayong x sa labas which is, uh, wherein the exponent is 1. So, we have x to the fourth divide x is equal to x cubed minus 2x square na lang ito minus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0. So, meron tayong dalawang factors dito at nasolve na agad natin yung unang root ng function ng, equi ng equation. So, we have x is equal to 0 already and x cubed minus 2x square minus 5x plus 6 na lang is equal to 0 ang isosolve natin. And this is by the zero product property. Ngayon ito nalang isosolve natin, we already have x equals, is equal to 0 as the first root of the equation. So ngayon, ang ating constant term ay 6. The possible roots are the factors of 6 plus minus 1, plus minus 2, plus minus 3, and plus minus 6. Ita try natin ang bawat isang ito bilang divisor. Kailangan mag zero ang remainder. So let's try one. So x cube we have one negative two x square minus two negative five x minus five at yaka constant term na six. Divide natin. We have one one times one ay one negative two plus one is negative one negative times one is negative one negative five plus negative one is negative six negative six times one is equal to negative six and then six plus negative six is equal to zero. Ngayon nag zero ang ating remainder. Ibig sabihin one is a root of the polynomial equation. Ang kulang na lamang natin ay ito. Okay, so let's write the quotient. We have x square. Minus 1x, so magiging minus x na lang. And the constant is minus 6 is equal to 0. Okay, so this quadratic equation is factorable na kaagad. So, x square minus x minus 6 is equal to 0. Ang kanyang factors ay x minus 3. Okay, x minus 3 and x plus 2 is equal to 0. So, therefore, we have this... Uh, root x is equal to 3 at saka itong plus 2 rito magiging x is equal to negative 2. Okay, so meron tayong apat na roots ng polynomial equation natin or the zeros of the given function which are x is equal to 0 meron tayong uh, 1, 3 at saka negative so, ito yung apat na roots or zeros ng polynomial function natin and we can also write this in factored form. So, that is f of x is equal to yung 0, corresponding factor niya ay x. Okay? x times yung 1, corresponding factor x minus 1. Yung 3, corresponding factor x minus 3. At yung negative 2, corresponding factor niya is x plus 2. So, this is the factored form of the given polynomial function. Mahalaga kasi itong pag pagsusulat natin sa polynomial function or pagta-transform sa kanya into factored form para mag-graph natin siya. Okay, for example number 4, ito ay isa ng quartic function. At kapag quartic function or ang degree niya ay 4, medyo mas mahaba na yung solution natin dito kasi mula sa x to the fourth kailangan mabawasan ang degree from x cube magiging x square at saka natin siya mapapaktor kasi kanina uh, x cube lamang. So, from x cube, naging quadratic siya at at saka natin agad siya na factor. So, dito medyo mahaba siya. So, let's solve for the zeros of this polynomial function and write it in factored form. So, mag-skip na tayo dun sa kanina. Na-equate. I-equate lang natin siya sa zero. At identify the constant term which is 10. The possible roots are the factors of 10 plus minus 1 plus minus 2 plus minus 5 and plus minus 10. After that, itatry natin ito isa-isa, starting with 1. Okay, so we have 1, coefficient na x to the fourth, and then 3, coefficient na x cubed, negative 11 sa x square, negative 3 sa x, at saka yung constant term natin na 10. Next, divide natin. So we have 1, 1 times 1 is 1, 3 plus 1 ay 4, 
So, 4 times 1 ay 4. Negative 4 plus, negative 11 plus 4 is negative 7. Negative 7 plus 1 is equal to negative 7. And then, negative 3 plus negative 7 is negative 10. Negative 10 times 1 is negative 10. 10 plus negative 10 is equal to 0. So, therefore, 1 is a root or a 0 of the polynomial function. So, maswerte tayo kasi may... Uh, na-solve na agad natin siya. Nag-zero na agad yung remainder. Ngayon, ito ay magiging cubic function. So, ang gagawin natin, itatry ulit natin yung 1 dahil baka maulit. So, we have 1, 4, negative 7, negative 10. Kasi rito, pwedeng maulit yung uh, root or zero niya. So, try natin yung 1. So, we have 1, 1, 5, 5, negative 2, negative 2, negative 12. So, since hindi nag-zero yung remainder, hindi na ulit yung 1. Magpo-proceed tayo ngayon sa negative 1 using these coefficients na. Hindi na tayo babalik dito sa 1, 3, negative 11, negative 3, 10. Kasi nga, na-reduce na siya into a cubic function. So, meron tayong 1, 4, negative 7, negative 10, divided by negative 1. So, we have 1, negative 1, 3, negative 3, negative 10, 10, 0. So, ibig sabihin, negative 1 is a root. Okay? So, after that, get the quotient. So, this is x squared plus 3x minus 10 is equal to 0. Factorable na siya. Ang factors niya ay x plus 5 x minus 2 is equal to 0. Corresponding root nito is x is equal to negative 5. At saka ito naman ay x is equal to 2. Hindi ko na siya inequate para mabilis tayo. So, ang ating roots or zeros ng function natin ay x is equal to 1, negative 1, negative 5, at saka 2. Okay? Pwede nyo rin siyang i-arrange in increasing or descending order. Bala kayo. Basta makita siya. Okay, so paano naman natin siya isusulat into its factored form? So we have g of x or h of x. h of x is equal to yung 1 corresponding factor x minus 1 times the quantity negative 1. Corresponding factor is x plus 1 times the quantity negative 5. Corresponding factor niya is x plus 5 times the quantity yung 2 ay x minus 2. So ito yung kanyang factored form. Form. Eh, sabay ko na yung sa factor to form para pag-determine natin ang properties ng graph ng polynomial function ay mas madali na siya.